this. Okay. <laughs> so Susanna, based on today's uh, recording, what are some things that you think uh, we can learn and take away? Uh, I think, well, one of the things that I appreciated from the conversation, which is a learning point I would mm -hmm. to take away, is the empathy that the yeah, coach does precisely. for the client. Um, precisely. Without getting into the story, he was able to, to summarize well and convey in the tone, the words, and the pacing that he used. It's a great connection and empathy there for the client. Mm -hmm. And I think that helped the client in, in opening up to him. Yeah, true. Agreed. And I think in terms of, uh, uh, this has probably already been, been covered, I'm not sure I'm adding anything new, but the, the drilling down, um, mm -hmm. there were a couple of occasions where the coach asked what else, and um, particularly mm -hmm. in relation to you, the question on why is increasing pay important to you? Yes. And he asked what else, which was a great question. Yes. Yes. And perhaps maybe that would, would have even been pushed into another what else or yes. getting a little bit yeah. more explanation on that. <laughs> yes, it was so simple but yet so powerful. What else? Mm -hmm. What else yeah. is there? You know, to allow the clients to really search deep inside. You know, in that space of conversation, it's really powerful. You know, thank you, Susanna. How about the park? Is there is there anything that you'd like to offer to our students in terms of what we can learn from this uh, recording? Um, yes, uh, I I think um, uh, first of all, I just want to congratulate him uh, on uh, being very open about what he was wanting to learn. Um, you know, he was very aware of what his own uh, coaching style was. Um, and uh, when you asked him, what, what would you like um, or as feedback, he was quite aware. So that, that I feel uh, awareness is the, is the first step towards acceptance and then action. Mm -hmm. um, and so moving on from there uh, into the conversation, um, I agree with Su Susanna, uh, the positive uh, reinforcements and positive um, uh, tonal quality mm -hmm. that he was bringing also to the conversation uh, actually helped the client to uh, open up. Precisely. And Precisely. and uh, it, it is a sensitive topic about your job mm -hmm. and about uh, your career and, and you just don't want to uh, talk about it without uh, having this reflection that you are probably an underperformer and that's why you're wanting to move out or a sensitive topic about money is always uh, also something that people don't talk very easily yeah so it was his it was his um, empathy his tonal quality his rapport and his um, uh, openness to hear w uh, what the client was going to say um, that made the client open up so okay. quickly Mm -hmm. Agree, agree. And yeah. I think ICF defines that as trust and intimacy, the ability for the yeah. to build a trusted, a, a safe conversation that based on acknowledging that the client is all capable and resourcefulness. And without us, you know, propping into, you know, making the clients feel in a way that, you know, that he's being evaluated and, he is, you know, why is it not, you know, why he's raising such an issue. You know, that is really the whole hallmark of trust and intimacy and how the coach stays very close in helping the clients to be clear how to get a good focus for the conversation. So that is really all about ICL core competencies surrounding trust and intimacy. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Tipa, mm. for that. And now, how about Sophie? Any great insight as to what are some good <laughs> we can take away? Yeah, I think um, I'm appreciating Coach One. Um, when Coach One actually asked for observation on giving space and not making judgment, and I think Coach One has done that very well. Yeah. And congratulations on that. Um, I. And in fact, he gave the space for the client to open up quite a fair bit. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm, unfortunately, the connection, uh, when the client speak, I couldn't hear very clearly. I, I only picked up a few things here and mm -hmm. there. And it seems like 
the client is talking about you know better career better pay better position yeah so if yeah so in the middle of the conversation to be honest i'm not too sure yeah. what the client really wants because mm -hmm. it seems That's like he loves the environment he's working yeah and reluctant in fact i sense the reluctance of Precisely. you know having to leave Precisely. So, um, i think uh it is okay to ask ask the client that what are you appreciating yeah mm -hmm. in, in your current career or if yeah. let's say if let's say those are the things that you know say i picked up better career better pay better position mm -hmm. and what you mean by better and how how can you paint a picture of better mm -hmm. how is it like so um mm. i think i would like to understand more mm -hmm. about what he how how is it related to what he wants yes yeah or in fact at the at the middle of the the uh, uh conversation after the coach one has opened up quite a fair bit perhaps it's good to ask the client that you know hearing what you are saying and hearing yourself what you have said so far mm -hmm. so what would you like us to focus on to help you to move forward so at least we get to hear what exactly the client want want the coach to go with him agreed agreed yeah great i think i i like the point is i i like the point as in you know that Yeah, the client said that he likes the working environment. <laughs> you know, that there was that sign there and, and I think that's why coach two pick up the word hesitate. You know, and, and brought it into the client's own awareness to ask him to, to talk about what, what do you mean? And and what I, I'm learning here is it's okay to ask the same question two times if the clients don't get it. <laughs> Okay, so because certain questions like what do you mean by this, it can it is not easy to process it because we, we are asking for an understanding. You know what I mean? And it is normal for clients to just describe the problem situation again. Because I think when when anyone is in that kind of you know, state of re uh, narrating the story, that is what we are capable of doing. But as we allow the clients to say that again, you know, gently by saying, so, so what do you mean by that? You know, you, you allow the clients that, that moment for thought to just settle down. You know, and I think that is a very, very a secret moment. You know, where the world just stands still and all other noise just fade away. And it is in that serenity of that space that we can truly hear our own voice. And I think it was in that space that the clients eventually decided that, hey, maybe it's not about living, maybe it's just a frustration. Maybe what is a wiser thing to do is let's negotiate. You see that that fast, that subtle frustrations. You know, I wouldn't even use the word frustration, but emotional drivers sometimes get us in the way of us knowing from from us doing the right thing. Most of us know what to do, as you know, we know what to do, what the right thing to do, but it is when we are in that state of reactivity, when we are just attending to the situation, where we are so close inside the muddy water that we can't see it. And in that space of a conversation where we just simply gently ask the clients to define and understanding using some important words like, I'm hesitating. Remember, we are not getting a definition. You know, we're not asking the clients to tell us what is the meaning of hesitation. No, we are asking the clients to give us an understanding. It's just like when somebody says, I'm tired. And you say, what do you mean by tired? No, we're not asking you to define tired. We're asking for an understanding, an explanation. What is going on here?
behind this simple word, what do you mean? And I think that really brought the clients into a greater uh, a focus on, okay, so what is the issue here? So when we drill in too much, when there is too much focus on the situation, you know, clarity gets blurred. And we can't seem to understand what really is important for us here. And in this recording, it is so clear that what is really important for the clients is being able to know how to do the right thing. Wow, what a great learning. <laughs> I'm enjoying every coaching conversation. 